Hi, this is Cindy from Vintage to New with another video tutorial. This is my Daisy Doodle Sun Hat pattern, and I'm going to show you how to make it step by step. We have cut out six pieces for the crown, six pieces for the crown lining. We have um, the brim and the brim lining. On the brim, we have cut out the daisy part of the hat, the little scalloped edge piece, and out of fusible web, out of fusible Pellon, I'm sorry, very lightweight Pellon, and fused it to the brim of the hat. The one thing I wanted to show you that you need to be sure to do is to leave about a quarter inch between your bottom of the scallop and the edge of the brim on every one of the petals, and you'll see why in a minute. So let's get started sewing. You can see that I have sewn right sides together um, on the side seams using a quarter inch seam on both pieces. And now I'm going to line up um, the stitch seams in pin on both sides. Okay, and then I had um, with pressed, I pressed where the center is of in between the two side seams, so that would be the center front or the center back, just so that I could line it up. You should be able to line it up with the center of that little petal right there and pin it and do that all the way around so your front and back are lined up and your side seams are lined up. Now we're going to start sewing scallops and start at the highest peak of one of your scallops, put it under your machine and put your needle down. Set your machine so that the needle stays down when you stop if your machine has that function. If not, when you're sewing around, always um, hand turn your needle so that it's down. And you're gonna go around the edge, not sewing on the, the pellon, around the edge of your scallop, back up to the top, then you're going to pivot and you're going to turn and this is how we sew a scallop. So continue all the way to the other side and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, I have sewn around doing all the scallops all the way around the brim of the hat. Now I want you to go on the back side and to double check and be sure that you have at least between an eighth and a quarter of an inch from the bottom of the scallop to the side of the hat everywhere. And if there's one that seems to be just a little bit too short, go back and just make your scallop a little bit um, smaller to sew onto the, the pellon on the front just a little bit. And then now I'll show you how to trim it up. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is to take your scissors and you're gonna cut up into the, the scallop so you cut right next to the, the stitches that you made, but do not cut any of the stitches. And just do that all the way around your entire brim. Then you're gonna go back and you're gonna come in and you're gonna cut it. You're gonna cut it so that it's between an eighth and a quarter of an inch on each one of these scallops. Now, Sometimes when you're working with things that are round, like the brim of this hat, when you're cutting them out on the fold, they get just a little bit wonky, so be, be um, kind to yourself. And um, if you are off just a little bit here on the back, that's okay. It'll be fine. Um, try to get the center piece as close as you can. Um, and just go around and trim that up like I've told you. Then I, we're going to turn it right side out and press it. You can see I've pressed it all out so that it's nice and flat right now. Um, we're going to take it over to our machine and top stitch right along the edge. Okay, to top stitch, you just sew a small seam between an eighth and a quarter of an inch all the way around. Now you'll notice that each one of your scallops is a different size, and I did that on purpose when I designed the hat. I thought having it be more like a little daisy would be kind of fun. So anyway, finish sewing all the way around and I'll see you at the end. We're now starting to sew the crown. Uh, you have six different pairs, so it'll be three, three pairs, 
that are six wedges that we're going to sew together. We start at this end, putting right sides together, sew all the way up. Be sure to back stitch at both ends. Um, we're going to clip three or four times along this curved part, like that up to the stitching but not through the stitching then we're going to go over and we're going to press the seam to one side. I'll show you what that looks like. Here's what they look like after we get them pressed. You'll see there's a nice little curve to each of these three um, pairs and you can see that they've been clipped on the inside and it looks really good. So the next step would be to put these pairs right sides together. So clip and press just like we did before. Okay, um, when we're putting our pairs together, when you sew to the top, all right, you're going to sew until you see um, where this seam is, where your two pairs meet. You're going to sew right up to that, but not into those stitches. So do that. Be sure to back tack. And let me show you what I mean. Okay. I have sewn right up to where our seam was, but not over the seam because you want to leave a quarter inch on each side here to sew in your last wedge. Let me show you. Working on our last wedge, we're sewing up to the crown again. We're going to pull all of our seams out of the way. We're going to sew right up to where we have sewn but not going over our stitching, just right up to it, back tack, pull it out, and do the last one. Okay, we're sewing our last one. We get right up to where all those seams are and not sew over any of them, back tack. And we have now sewn the crown of our hat. And when we open it up, you can see there might be just a teeny tiny small hole there because we didn't go all the way up, but it should lay nice and flat and you should have a nice looking crown to a hat. Now, the reason I started with the lining first is for some people, if you've never done this before, it might take a little bit of practice. So practice on your lining before you do your fashion fabric. So once you have that down, you just take your fashion fabric and do the exact same steps we just did. Okay, if you decide that you'd like to put some sort of a tie on your, your hat, um, I'm going to do one that's attached with Velcro. Um, I cut a strip of fabric that is one and a half inches wide, then I folded both ends towards the middle and I pressed it, and now I'm going to fold it in half this way, and I'm going to run it through top stitching along the top. Um, I'll top stitch using a very, very, very close to the edge, sewing close to the edge of that fold, all the way down. Okay, as you can see, I, I left a seam allowance to sew into the hat. I sewed on my... Um, Velcro and then I left a little here at the end. I'm going to turn it up, turn it up. I'm going to sew across there to give me a finished edge. Now this is the the prickly side of the um, Velcro. So when you put it into the hat, you want this definitely to be away from your skin. You want the smooth side of the fabric next to the skin and this part ready to get the other part of the strap to hook to it. Okay, here you can see the little short piece with the very um, prickly part of the Velcro, which is going to go on this side of the hat, facing this way. And then this is the smooth part. You can see both seams are turned up towards the Velcro. And this part will go on the hat over here, and it's longer. So when it goes up and attaches, it'll be something like, like that. So let's attach our hat to our brim. Okay, we take the brim of our hat and we turn it wrong side out. As you can see, it's turned wrong side out. We take the right side of our lining, see here's the right side, and we put it to the right side of the brim, okay? We match up starting with our side seams. You match both side seams. 
and then you work it might take a little bit of easing but you work it and pin it and work it and pin it so that it's nice and flat all all the way around there's no puckers on the inside or the outside now we are going to take and put in our our ties at this time because we're working on the inside of our hat so undo this one pin here and you're going to put this down in so that it goes in like so right in the center seam and back together all right and that was the piece that had the rough velcro part to it so i'm going to double check i'm going to look on this side here and i'm going to imagine that it's turned right back the lining's going to go up and in and here is that rough part of the velcro facing the brim of the hat okay and we're going to do the same with this piece over here we're going to undo this we're going to put it down in like so we're going to double check okay it's going to go down around the baby's chin and back up so okay we've got it facing the smooth part of the velcro the soft part is facing the brim of the hat this time and it will allow it to go up and attach to that prickly side of the velcro so take it put it back in and do a quarter inch seam all the way around here I am sewing around the hat when I go over the ties I'm going to give it just a little bit of a back tack and I'll see you at the other side Okay, I've sewn around the hat. This is where I started sewing, and this is where I'm going to end, only on the lining side. I'm gonna leave about three inches here where I'm gonna be able to turn the hat right side out. I have back tacked both places, and now I'm ready to sew the other part of the hat. Okay, I repeated the process and pinned the right side of the hat to the right side of the brim. Um, and now I'm going to stitch it, stitch it together. This time I'm going to sew all the way around and I'll show you what to do after that. When you're sewing around the brim of your hat, be sure that your needle stays down like before. Um, there may be a time when you need to do a little bit of easing, which means pulling one or the other of the fabrics so that they um, ease together to be nice and flat and the same size. Okay, you don't want any puckers or twists in your sewing as you sew around. Okay, after you have it all sewn and you've checked on both sides to make sure all of your seams look good and that you've caught everything really well, um, take your scissors and go around and just do a little bit of clipping on this last little round seam that you did. Just every maybe two, three clips per wedge just so when you turn it that it can um, lay nice and flat. So finish doing that on both the fashion fabric and the lining. Okay, when you do your clipping around the lining, don't clip where you have left your opening. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna work it and turn it right side out, pulling it out through that opening that we left. Just keep working it until it's all pulled through. All right, we go back to the opening that we left open and by hand, we're gonna take, hide our knot on the inside of our hat. Okay, tuck all those threads down in there. And then they were just gonna very, very little stitches, whip stitch this closed by hand, following that quarter inch seam. Okay, just continue on and I'll meet you at the end. So here is the finished hat. You have it, um, looks like this. We have our, um, our tie down under here. All right, and it's all closed. Now you can put an embellishment here if you would like. Um, I'm going to do an applique because this particular fabric has mushrooms on it. I'm going to do a mushroom applique, but I've also included a daisy applique in case you wanted to add a daisy. 
Okay, before I attach my applique to the front of the hat, I want to go through and I'm going to pin the lining to the front, making sure that this this seam is lined up and that it's nice and smooth. And then I'm going to just stitch in the ditch. That just means stitch as close to that as I can all the way around, which will help hold the lining in place for the hat. Okay, I'm just finishing up the stitching and I wanted you to notice that I stitched on the right side of the hat so that um, if it got off a little bit on the inside, it wouldn't matter. Um, we want the outside of our hat to look good. So now that we're finished, we're gonna cut our threads and take a look. If your hat has quite a few wrinkles in it, which mine did, um, I took an old crib sheet or just an old piece of fabric, rolled it up, and just made something that would fit down inside the, the brim of the hat, inside the cap of the hat. And then you can take this over and use your iron to iron out any wrinkles that you might have. These are general instructions on how to do an applique. This is what they call Wonder Under. Um, it basically is a piece of paper that has iron-on adhesive on the back. Um, I traced the applique that I want to do, the mushroom, the top and the bottom. I will um, just cut this apart. I'm not going to cut it out yet. Just cut it apart like this. And I'm going to um, iron the back of the, the mushroom on the back of the red and white fabric. And you want to make sure that you don't have any of this stuff hanging off the edge of your fabric when you iron because you will iron it to your ironing board and it makes a giant mess. And also be sure you have the um, adhesive side down when you iron or you will iron it to the bottom of your iron. I speak from experience. And you will do the same with the little brown stem. So let me go iron those and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now that I've ironed them on and they've had a chance to cool, this is when you go in and you trim right along um, the line. All right, just trim along like this. Now, this little stem, when I traced it, I added just a tiny bit to the top of it so that when I put it down and I put the mushroom cap over the top, it can come down a little bit over it. Um, that way I don't have to try to make the little raw seams match up. Let me show you what I mean. All right, I made this part just a tiny bit longer so this could fit down over the top like so. Um, this is just a piece of felt or any kind of um, wool or anything like that that's not going to fray. Uh, when I iron these two pieces on top of that. To remove the paper from the backing, my one little trick is to use a pin and just do a little tiny score across the back. And then you can just pull the paper off quick and easy. And the adhesive stays left behind. As you can see, I have ironed it on and now it's stuck onto this, paper, onto this uh, backing. I'm gonna cut it out. Um, with a little bit of an edge left around it just because I like the way that looks. Um, down here at the bottom I'm leaving a little bit extra and I will show you why in just a second. Okay I have put some embroidery floss on a, on a long needle. Um, I'm using three strands of embroidery floss. It comes in a skein that has six strands, so divide it down to, thir to three strands. Cut it between 12 and 18 inches long. And then what I like to do is just by hand do a quick little running stitch. And this is thick, so the backing is thick, so I can only do like one little tuck and pull up at a time. Anyway, I'm going to work my way all the way around the edge of this applique, around the top of the mushroom and the bottom of the mushroom, and then I'm going to add some little grass when I get down there because it mimics what's going on here. So I'll see you at the end. I decided that this is where I want to put my applique. I have pinned it in place, and now I'm going to very carefully sew around this edge that I left. Um, around the applique on my sewing machine. Okay, here it is all sewn on the front of my hat. As you can see, I put it partially on the brim and 
partially on the crown of the hat, sewed it through all layers, looks like that on the inside. So here is our finished little um, daisy doodle uh, sun hat. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you'll enjoy the pattern. Thanks, till next time.